All right, so we'll continue on. I don't know. This is going to be boring. Maybe, it, maybe it'll go into something. I don't know. I go do my volunteer work on Monday, and then I go somewhere else, and they're kind of far from my house, and parking is crazy there. So I don't take the RV. I get on the bus. I used to do undercover work for the RTC here in Las Vegas. RTC, Ra Rapid Transit Company. Rapid, <laughs> oh, that's a freaking laugh. <laughs> Transit, that's even a bigger one. Company, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Got on the 202 Flamingo bus. I saw my favorite driver, his name is Dell. He is the most congenial driver in the world. Oh, and that includes Mars and Uranus. I'm talking about the planet, not your ass. Now please watch your step foot next to the Indy Coach folks. And thank you for riding. This is Hospitality Circle. Guess whose bus I got on today? The nicest driver in the world. <laughs> this is the nicest bus driver in the world. Thank you so much. That's very inspiring to me. It is. Now, you mean you don't get acknowledged that often? Come on, you must. Because you're such a rarity. You, when people are walking on the street, they don't stop just to look down at the sidewalk. But if they see a Rolex, they're going to stop and look down at it. That is true. You're a Rolex. Oh, thank you so much. You, you need to be on my bus every day. <laughs> I'll be on your bus every Monday. And folks, please stand clear of those opening and closing doors. Isn't he just the nicest driver in the world? Dell is something special. I've never seen a driver like him before. I remember when I got off that bus. There was this little dog that you won't believe. I'll have to show you the video from him. His name is Leo. The best dressed dog in Las Vegas. <laughs> Where do you think you are, Hollywood Boulevard? Hey, now look at you. Hello, hello. Does he pick out his own clothes? Because he's got exquisite taste. <laughs> I hello, sweetheart. Oh, thank you for the licky. Thank you for the licky. Thank you. you are sweet little baby, you, Leo. Yeah. He's better dressed than I was. Oh, I know what I want to tell you. My daughter came up with some good ideas about stuff for YouTube. She is so, oh my God, she's such a wonderful kid. And I, I'm, I'm going to digress for just one second and I'll share this with you. And not in any kind of a gloaty way, but to share it with you. That she called today because I have to have a knee surgery done. Um, I have a torn meniscus in my right knee. And uh, as, or pe people ask me, how did you get it? Well, actually, I got it scurrying across the street. So good to know there is an age for scurry. Okay? I am past the age of scurry. So no more scurry for me. So I think I might go on a diet and lose that 30 pounds, not because I'm fretting over it. I kind of feel better when I'm 30 pounds lighter. And also, in that RV, if I'm smaller, it's gonna seem bigger. <laughs> I have to have a knee surgery. She wanted to know when I was gonna get it done. Hopefully have it done after January so she can come and visit. Oh, by the way, mom, me and my girlfriend, her girlfriend, she's gay, getting a three bedroom, two, two bath house so that you can come and stay with us. I'm like, don't worry about me. You know, that's very nice. I really like that. Don't worry about me, though. And she's like, Mom, I don't worry about you at all. I am really happy for you. I'm proud for your successes. And I've done some things lately that I'm kind of proud of, too. It's not that I worry about you. And it's not that I need you. It's that I want you there. I was standing on the street listening to this on my phone. I'm like, Oh my God, Sydney, you gotta stop. You gotta stop right now because I just can't hold these tears. Because I've always said what would make me feel like a success as a mother would be for my child to tell me, I don't need you, but I want you. This makes me a success.
went to shit. We are on Flamingo Road, approaching the Strip, as it's called in Las Vegas. Approaching Las Vegas Boulevard, the Strip. See, I told you. Please. Everything I've ever done besides this fails. There's a freaking fly in here. What are you doing, fly? I set this shot up. You're ruining my setup here. <sighs> Insects. Go figure. They think it's hard to work with animals in Hollywood. Try working for with insects in the desert. 